bring in Simon Michelle now from Fig Securities. Check in on how the bond markets are tracking. And we are seeing yields a little lower, Simon, certainly after the Fed held off on that September hike. But it all becomes, I guess, listening to Janet Yellen this week with a couple of speeches from her and looking towards December. Absolutely, Ingrid. Good afternoon. And uh, we've definitely seen a bit of a drop right across the curve uh, in Australia. Our 10 years back below that 2% level. Um, interesting, really, because before we get the uh, December meeting, we also get the election. <laughs> And uh, we get the first uh, debate, obviously, uh, Monday night US time. So it's really going to be interesting as uh, those polls tighten. We are starting to see a little bit of volatility emerge and we could actually see markets go a little quiet and that could be a key focus before we get to that December meeting, I think. Simon, it's Tony Davison from Henderson Maxwell. I'm just interested. We've had a big mean reversion uh, rally in the bonds, particularly longer dated bonds. Do you think that the backup that we were seeing two weeks ago, is that now completely done? Is the market reversed its view or do you think we're likely to see that come back again? Look, it's really interesting, isn't it? I mean, we, what we do know is that we are seeing less demand for those longer-dated bonds, but yet we are seeing people take advantage of that kick-up in yields and uh, pushing those yields back down. Um, you know, not dissimilar to what we saw, you know, 12 months ago as we, uh, you know, had the same situation, approached a possible September move to December. So I think while we're still seeing people happy to step up and take demand at the long end of the curve and we are seeing that sort of drift within a fairly tight band, uh, we are seeing, especially from uh, off offshore investors, uh, both in the US and in Australia, starting to pull back uh, on their holdings of uh, US Treasuries and uh, sovereign debt. And so it's really going to be interesting, you know, if that demand keeps uh, decreasing, um, then that's certainly going to have an impact on those yields in the long end. Simon, could I just ask on that, what do you make of it? You know, the fact that the demand is reducing, particularly in those longer dated issues, what, what should we read into that? Well, it's interesting. In Australia here, what we've noticed is as the government deficit increased and the volume of bonds that the government's had to issue, uh, offshore investors have actually pulled back. Um, you know, so we've gone from about 74 per cent uh, holding to around about 58 per cent holding at the moment. So, you know, they could be aware of that, uh, aware of that increasing amount. We know the Aussie government's got to issue more uh, over the 2017 year as well. So, you know, uh, it could be a case of them just pulling back as the volume of issuance increases substantially. Um, over in the US, well, you've definitely had, uh, you know, the uh, through Saudi Arabia, they've been pulling back. China, we know, have been pulling back. A lot of those countries that hold US Treasuries uh, have been decreasing theirs, and that's generally been because they've uh, needed to utilise those funds elsewhere more so than a pullback in, de in uh, you know, demand for, for holding those sovereigns, really. Just quickly, might touch on a, a domestic bond issuance. I know you're watching Virgin Australia looking to issue some potential US dollars. What, what, are, you, what are you making of that? Yeah, so Virgin Australia, they're a high-yield issuer. Um, they've got an existing 2019 bond issue, about 400 million US dollars. Uh, that was issued at 8.5, currently trading around 6.5. So, look, um, I think don't think they'll have a problem with the US dollar issue out there. Uh, and on the back of that, domestic here we've got AAI, they're uh, fully owned by Suncorp Group. Uh, they've been a fairly regular issue. They're looking to do a, a tier two issue and I think that'll see very strong demand. All right, Simon Michelle, always appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. The bond market check